What's up, my pilots? Air Ponce here. We're back playing Skyrim. Let's follow Rail off for now, shall we? Where are you going, Rail off? What you up to, buddy? How's it going? Huh? Huh? What you doing there? Are you are you scurrying along? Are you gonna need some grass? You need some grass? Okay, I think he's going over here to talk to the lady with the arrow in her face. Brother, Mara's mercy, it's good to see you. Oh yeah. But is it safe for you to be here? We heard that Ulfric had been captured. Did you say Gerda again? At least now I am. You better be. Are you hurt? What's happened? Did I see you talking to Sven? <laughs> Sorry, what? Riverwood's agreeable enough, I suppose. What'd you say about Sven? He's a bard, so he says. Occasionally he finds time to do his job here at the mill. Oh. His ballads and sonnets are going to convince Camilla Valerius to marry him. As if she would say yes. Oh, yeah. An intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. I hope. Hmm. Yeah, one of words ever inspired feelings of love. I don't need your jokes right now. But maybe you have What's a point. over there? Maybe Camilla needs some help seeing Sven for what he is. Hmm. Could you, could you give her this letter and say it's from Sven? I think I've matched that Nord's lack of cleverness perfectly. Oh. Okay. Oh, you want me? You want me to be a dick for you? I'm on it. Anyway, where Rilof get off to? He's screwing around with his sister. Can I see your axe? How many imperials have you killed? Do you really know Ulfric's stormcloak? Shut up, kid. You're a twerp, man. This is no Yo, Gerder. New to Riverwood? Yo, I was just here with your with your brother right there. Come find us if you see any imperial soldiers coming. I mama. I want to stay and talk with Uncle Rilof. No, you don't. He's an asshole. Trust me. Look at you. Almost a grown man. Won't be long before you'll be joining the fight. Oh, your culture's fucked up. Don't tell him it's cool to go to war. That's scary, man. That kid should be afraid he's gonna get drafted when he turns what thirteen or whatever. What's going on? You two look pretty well done in. Hey Hod. Who are you? Nice mustache. Where to start? Are you just bumping him? What are you doing? Imperials ambushed us outside Darkwater Crossing. Oh no! Like they knew exactly where we'd be. That was uh, two days ago now. <laughs> I don't remember that at all, but okay. We stopped in Helgen this morning, and I thought it was all over. Had us lined up to the headsman's block and ready to start chopping. As I recall, they did start chopping. The cowards! They wouldn't dare give Ulfric a fair trial. Treason for fighting for your own people. All of Skyrim would have seen the truth then. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But then, out of nowhere, a dragon attacked. What? Twist ending? In a real life no, I mean like a paper mache dragon in like a Chinese parade. Myself. And I was there. Whoa. As strange as it sounds, we'd be dead if not for that dragon. In the confusion, we managed to slip away. Ah, the strings of fate. Are we really the first to make it to Riverwood? <laughs> we went pretty quick, Nobody man. Nobody else has come up the south road today, as far as I know. Oh. Good. Maybe we can lay up for a while. I hate to put your family in danger. I ain't laying up with you, man. You get your own bed. Nonsense. You and your friend are welcome to stay here as long as you need to. Let me worry about the Imperials. Imperial Any milk drinkers. Is a friend of mine. That's what I want to hear. Lucan over in the Riverwood trade so, says thieves. Give some supplies I can take. Here's the key to the house. Stay as long as you like. What? If there is anything else you need, just let me know. Oh, you shouldn't give me things. Alright. I'll take all the stuff you got that's worth anything. Uh, a ring of minor smithing, that's there cool. There's something you could do for me. For all of us here. What I'm could I do for you? Assist you in any way, but I need your help. The Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. Riverwood is defenseless. Oh yeah, you guys are probably gonna get destroyed. I need to get word to Jarl Balgruf in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. All right, no problem. <laughs> I didn't even get the option. It's like you're gonna do this, but first, let's deliver that letter to Camilla Valerius or whatever her name was over here in the shop. I like this quest. This is fun. Well, it's one of the short, easy ones, but they they put this here on purpose because they know this is the first town that you're gonna run into when you start playing. And so they load it with a couple of really easy quests well, for you to do. one of us has to do something. Ah, you're Camilla. Hello. Maybe you could talk some sense into my pig-headed brother. No, actually, I have a letter from you. It's from your lover, Sven the Bard. Another poem, I bet. Oh, I should have read it. Damn. Oh, no! What's this? 
If that oaf thinks all I'm going to do is stay in that filthy house of his and clean, I'll... You're a strapping young man. Oh, what? Don't be a stranger. No, oh, I, I, I guess I closed the dialogue too soon. Damn, I wish I don't have the letter now. I wish I could have sh I wish I could I read it to you guys. It basically just says it's just a poem about how excited he is to have her cleaning his house, <laughs> basically, and cooking his meals and stuff. Just very anti the whole nerd woman thing where they're supposed to be powerful birthing warrior children and all that so they can get into Valhalla. Did you know that? Did you know that in old Norse mythology? The uh the way for men to get into Valhalla was to f find honor in battle. And best of all, die in battle. Where is this guy? Where did, where did Sven, Sve or Felinol, whatever his name is, go? Talk to Felinol. Where is he? I don't have an arrow. I don't know what to do. There's no arrow. Did I not? Hang on. Am I doing this wrong? Oh, yeah. i got to turn it on over here, too. got to click it twice. It's weird. But the way for uh, women to get into Valhalla was that they had to uh, give birth to a son who found glory in battle. Kind of interesting, isn't it? Obviously, you know, old, the old sexist mythos of the, what, 1200s? I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? I'm going to have a seat at your chair, and uh, I'm going to chat with you for a while, Falendal. Tell me, as soon as you've given Camilla the letter. Yeah, I gave him the, le the fake letter that said Sven wanted to uh, have her wash his dishes. I appreciate If you help. know what I mean. Please, take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. Cool. At 25 gold. And after this quest, he loves you so much he'll become your follower. Lead the way. So I'm going to let him do that. Oh, yeah, we got this chair there. Hey, buddy. Still here. So now what you can do is you can actually trade things with him. Me to carry. So if you want, you can take his stuff. So if you want some arrows, a key to his house, whatever, you can take it. But the best part is, now you can, I'll show you he'll train I you at archery one way or the other. But now when he trains you, you can go ahead and uh, get the training, and then go right into his pockets and take all your gold back. <laughs> so we're going to get some I'll archery training here. The way I justify this as being not a complete exploit uh, is that he just loves you so much. He wants to teach I'll you for free. You, know. you know, he's your... He's your companion. He's your friend. What do you want me to carry? He wants to, uh, to teach you how awesome it is to be show you what I know. to be an archer. So he just trains you for free because he likes you that what much. Do you want me to carry? Plus, it's a really uh, easy way to get your archery scope to 30 or so early on. I'll show you what I know. Very quickly, which is nice. There you go. It's five out of five for this level. So now I need to oh. level up. So let's do that. Hopefully, I haven't gained enough level ups for two yet. Health. Oh, I have gotten enough for two. Can I exit? Oh, you can't. That's so lame that they once you once you start leveling up, you can't exit this screen. Until whoops, whoopsie. Now everyone knows my little icon's a girl. And okay, health and stamina. That's fine. Okay, cool. So now I'm gonna get my other five right you. levels of training what from him. Want me to carry? Get my gold back first. I'll show you what so I. So I'm not gonna actually take him as my. What do you want me to carry? Follower. Because I don't really want a follower. I'll show you <laughs> they, they, I know. they can throw off stealth-based missions pretty easily. What do you want me to carry? They just—they tend to be bumbling, and even when you're just trying to go around, I'll they stand in doorways. Know. They get in the way. Just. What do you want me to carry? They're really not worthwhile, to be frank. They don't help you a whole lot. I'll show you when you're at low levels, they can be rather useful. I'll admit, but especially as the game goes on, they become more and more cumbersome I'll show you what I and know. less and less helpful. Just... Can I level up again? Look at this. This is crazy. Ho! Oh, a Nord! Actually, I'm an Argonian. I just, it's all so Nordic. All I've chanting and stuff. What do you want me to carry? Or at least it gives the impression that it's Nordic to someone who knows I'll nothing show about you what I know. that sort of thing. Although I did just, just demonstrate that I know about how women got into Valhalla, which is kind of cool, I guess. I'll show you if you're into that kind of thing. What do you way, want me to we're carry? almost done here. I'm gonna. How long can I keep this going, man? I just. I'll I had no idea you, you could I do know. this for this long. I was at 32 now. Because he's only a low-level archery trainer, he shouldn't be able to train me up to a very high level. I'll show you what I know. Eventually, he's just gonna say like, "You know more than I do about do that," or, or whatever. And that'll be him saying, "Oh, I don't train at a level that I'll high." Show you what I know. Sorry. There's five more. Get another level up. Oh my God. Clearly this game is, is very easy. We're getting to levels up. We're getting up in levels very quickly here. Goodness gracious. I have achieved Apprentice. I don't know what that means. Still here. What yeah. Do you want me to carry? I'm like, uh, I'm still here. Uh, what do you want? I'll show, you what I know. show me what you know, man. Just show me what, what you, you know. Me to carry? 
See, the, well, one of the reason that I'm leveling up so quickly is because... I'll show you what I know. I'll show you. Thank you. You keep saying that. Man. What do you want me to carry? You keep saying the same two lines over and over again. It's almost like that's all you know how to say. I'll show you what I know. That's pretty bad. Man. What do you want me to carry? You know what we're going to do? We're going to go across the street to the shop really? so I can get some more gold. I'll keep this going for a little bit longer. But basically, the reason I'm leveling up so fast was only like four level ups to getting me a new level. Uh, is that, or rather, four skill ups to get me a new level. Is that they, they rescaled the leveling system in Skyrim. So instead of having to get ten each time, the first few levels you only have to get like four or five, and then it goes up from there. Like, I feel like when you get to higher levels, you have to get, like, 15. It's just silly. My sister Camilla, right? So this guy, of course, I is... Whoops. Ah, oh, shut Your voice is so loud. Books laying about. I'm turning my TV down. He's so annoying. To go to the College of Winterhold. Anyway, this guy is a, a merchant, so we can sell him all the amethyst and amulet of Talos and other just junk that we picked up here. Why am I not wearing the light armor? It's weird. What, am I not wearing a shirt? Oh no, I'm wearing the studded. I'm wearing the studded armor. Is that better? I have no idea. I'm just gonna sell this. And all these swords and the daggers and the axe and the book. I'm just gonna try and get rid of everything that we are not going to use, which will be like potions of lock picking. Who cares? I don't need magicka potions because I don't use magicka. Sell the jewelry. I'm gonna sell Ray's zombie. I'm never gonna use clairvoyance either. I know where things are. And sell that too. Look at that. Took his gold right off. Maybe you're looking for Perfect. Hey, buddy. What do you let's, want get, to let's get back to what we were doing. I'll show you what I know. Train me to be better at archery, my friend. Actually, you know what? I'll I can go ahead and get another level now because I have enough gold to buy. I can afford two at once. Amazing. Oh, another level up. This is crazy. This is preposterous. If I had known you could do this, I would start it off every character like this. This is hilarious. That's the first time I've ever done this. I'm right behind and it's just so what crazy you that you can... <laughs> you can do this. I... How, how high does he train? I'm up, to, I'm up to level 40. I'm getting two levels at a time now, so it's going faster, too. Of course, it's getting more expensive. That's the thing. But uh, then again, I'm getting my gold back every time, because... I just what talk to him, and he's like, Oh, here. Here's your... Here's your, uh... And wait, did I just get I another? Oh, huh, okay. Boom. Oh, 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 it's so close, but it's not quite. I'll level up. Okay. You lead, I'll follow. Alright, sweet. So, um, oh, let me buy anything we useful you have from you. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. What I mostly want is just healing potions. You're not going to use anything else. Alright. I've got your back. Thanks, Villano. I'll head back home if you need me. I'm done abusing your your glitch there. All right, so now we've sucked all the blood out of Riverwood. We can uh, move on. We're at level six. Well, how hard? How high did he put our archery skill? That's crazy. Where's our archery? Over here. 44. I've shot a total of like 20 arrows. <laughs> That's crazy that I can get that archery skill that high that quickly. Wow. I gotta wonder now how high he actually will train it. Like, I almost want to just go out and get another level up, just to... Well, it looks like I'm actually at about to get a level up in archery anyway. Let me just do that. And I can get five more levels out of him before we leave. I should try to sneak attack a chicken. That's what I'll do. I'm gonna snipe a chicken. Gotta save my game here. I don't want this chicken assassination to go horribly wrong. No arrows equipped. Oh, we've hit a, we've hit a serious kink in our plan here. Oh yeah, I ran out, that's right. I gotta buy some more arrows. Ugh. Oh, how do I get a bounty? I was invisible. Last witness killed. Did it really just say last witness killed? The chicken was the was a witness? Are you serious? Huh? The chicken was a witness. The chicken knew. The chicken saw everything. The chicken can see into your soul. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh wow. Well. The Riverwood Trader. Oh, the Riverwood Trader is all you need in a general store. Have you got? Yeah, I need arrows. Actually, I want to uh, I want to have more gold so I can afford... Oh, I have two pairs of all the armor. That's silly. You know what I should make is some iron daggers before we continue on here. Necklace of Minor Health. When did I pick that up? 
cool, I'm gonna wear it. I mean, it's great at a low level here. Yeah, I need to... Man, I need to sell some more stuff so I can be able to afford the level ups. I shouldn't have bought all those potions and things. Dang. Now I feel silly. Oh, I have three longbows. I can sell a couple of those. My speech increased. This is hilarious. Wow. Okay, then. Uh, I still can't afford a level up, which sucks. Ow! What the hell are you doing, Fandle? What's wrong with you? Whoa, hello. I'm sorry. I don't know why you're mad at me, Fendel. Like, was that your chicken? Sorry. What? All right, I put my thing away. What are you? What is? What? What? Are you still mad about the chicken? <laughs> I'm so confused. Do I? Can I tell what my bounty is here? White run bounty forty. Oh, it's a little bounty. What for the chicken? It's the chicken, man. Was that your chicken? And why are you the only one who's mad? Fendel, you're supposed to be my buddy. You're my follower. Why have you turned on me so quickly? I'm just I'm gonna let him kill me. <laughs> I don't care. Let's go back to that save I made. Fendel, you're such an ass. I'm just gonna use my powers can only use once today. You know what? Fendel, you taught me to do this. I'm just doing what you taught me. Hey, <laughs> he just gets an arrow right in the chest. He's like, I don't care. I'm like I give a fuck. Oh, you got me. And suddenly when I die, I suddenly take out my torch and pickaxe. That's, that's interesting. <laughs> What is that? It's pretty weird. Okay, we're back to pre-chicken pre death. So now I just need to go and kill something other than a chicken. <laughs> I'm sure I can find a wolf or something without any trouble out here, right? How far do I have to go in order to get something to run at me? I could even shoot a bunny. There's actually a statistic in this game for how many bunnies you've killed. Isn't that fun? I want to know which of the programmers thought to put that in. Hey, okay, you know there's rabbits in the game? Yeah. You know how you can, uh, brutally slaughter the rabbits? Yeah. We should put that in the game. Yeah, that's a, that should be a thing. We should keep track of how many rabbits you've brutally slaughtered. Wish I could see. Everything's gray. That's my major complaint with Skyrim at night, is that everything's gray. I can't tell what the hell I'm looking at. Where's the wolf? There's always a wolf out here. Here he is. There you are. No arrows equipped. I'm just gonna bash the wolf. Just punch him. Punch him with the bow. That was like nothing. Alright. Where are my arrows? I do have a few arrows, so... I'm still using the longbow, aren't I? Let me switch to the hunting bow. Yep. Where are you guys at? My... my... Ah! He bumped into me and moved my crosshair over. That's funny. Because my archery skill's at 44 now, so I should be able to shoot these guys without any trouble here. Take him out. Stop it. Nasty wolf. I just hit him again and he didn't die, or did I miss? Gotcha. Give me your pelts and things. I'm gonna, gonna sell them and try and get some more money out of Luke and Valerius. The music is so intense for just a fight against a couple of wolves. It's funny. Okay, and then back to back to Riverward to get some, uh... We're totally just screwing around in this episode. That's sort of the thing with Skyrim, though. It's hard to stay focused on one thing. You find that frequently, you just kind of end up screwing around a lot. But, you know, that's how it goes, I guess. That's the life of it. That's the life of a... The life of Dovahkiin. Right? It's the lifestyle. Just do whatever you want. Whatever you want, whenever you want. Let's go ahead and try and squeeze some more money out of Luke and him in here. I mean, he's a nice guy and all, but... I'm not really super concerned about his golden claw. The Riverwood... Trinkets, All right, and then. Ends, that sort of thing. Let's try and get some gold out of him. I don't want these anymore. Sell my extra pairs of clothes, my extra longbows, and I thought I had some wolf belts. Yeah, there were three gold. Hooray. <laughs> I probably can't afford even a single level of training right now. Actually, based on the net amount of gold that the two of us have, I think that Vandal still has some of my gold. Hmm. Yeah, he's looking at like 700, and now he's not a net gold between us is like 6. I must have given Fendel like 500 gold on that without realizing it. When I told him to leave my service, he must have still had it. I'm gonna get that back. Fendel! I want my money back, Fendel. You gotta pay up, or you won't face the consequences. This Divine is great, you can talk to people from behind him. Like, really they don't turn around. Enough. They don't just whip around like they would in Oblivion, like whoosh, just twist around in the chair. Still here. <laughs> uh, Let's trade some things. 
Yeah, give me my gold back. <laughs> like 500 I'll gold. Man. Okay, he's already trained me here. So now we'll take the level up. Get some stamina. That's Lead cool. On. Actually, refills your refills your health too, you which is cool. To Whoops. That's not what I want. Ah, uh, no. I've got your back. Train me. I'll show you what I know. Oh wait, you have insufficient gold to train. Oh, I have to go one at a time again now because it's getting more carry? expensive. It, get, it costs more every level, basically. I'll show you what I know. How far can you train me? I'm at level 47. He probably goes what to 50, to right? I mean, how high would a I'll common what trainer? That's what level he is. He's a common level trainer. So surely he doesn't train past 50. I'll show you like what halfway. I know. Right? I mean, that would make sense. What do you want me to carry? But if he does, like, you know, I can afford it. I'll show you what I know. This is so preposterous. Okay, so now I have to <laughs> take another level up. Look how silly this is. I have never realized this before. We're already to archery at level 50, so we're going to be a super oh. archer right from the very beginning, which is nice, I guess. What do you want me to carry? It saves me that whole grinding step. All right, I need you to do something. No, I don't want you to what, do anything. You still need me to do something? No. No, that's fine. Still here. What do you want no, wait, he stopped offering the, tra the, the, the training. Is it because it's nighttime? I'll fall. Maybe. I'm right behind you. My skill level just hit 50, didn't it? Maybe he can't train above 50. That's probably what it is. I've got your back. Yep, that's okay. 50 probably is his level cap. Cool. So I got his gold. Or my gold, rather, back. And our archery skills are at level 50, which is hilarious. Since we've shot a total of like three right wolves and a you. bandit. Like, <laughs> That's it. I'll head back home if you need Go home. Did I get my gold back from him that time? I did. All right, great. See you, Fendel. Thanks for the thanks for all the help, man. He taught me everything he. <laughs> Fendel taught me everything I know about archery, up to level 50. That is. I'm gonna sneak over here and steal these iron. Oh, who's gonna? I always get confused. Who can see me here? There's nobody around. There's nobody at the mill. Nobody's over there during the day. There's a guard up there, but I don't think he's looking this way. It's weird too, because he seems like you're right in the middle of there, and you get hidden and around the stand next to the thing. It's weird. I don't know, man. I don't know. I feel like I should be. It's weird. Alright, let me overwrite my old save here. It's another thing that happens in Skyrim is you end up with too many save files. How does that happen? Let's take these two. Alrighty then. Onward and upwards, shall we? Let's go on over to Whiterun, but first, let's make it daytime. It's just more fun to run around during the day than it is at night. Oh, and I should buy some more arrows soon. I think I can get them in... I feel like I can get them in... Whiterun. Doesn't matter, we're not going to need a whole lot in the way there, I don't think. And if we run out, you know, the wolves, they can totally just get punched to death. That's fine. No problem. Let's go for a swim. We are an Argonian, after all. We can breathe forever. Just catch fish. With our bare hands, just cut a fish. There's another fish. Some more fish. Why did I miss the usual turn? Oh, hello. Oh, it's an elk. Shh, 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 shh. Everyone just watch this gift. We gotta, we gotta watch this elk. He moved! It's like he knew I was gonna shoot. I definitely got him though, didn't I? Did I get him? I got a lot of health. <gasps> bunny! Bunny, 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 bunny. Brutal bunny death. Where'd you go, bunny? Where'd you go? There you are. Where's the bunny? Where's the bunny? There, there. Oh! I'm sorry. Oh my god! I regret this immediately. Brutal bunny death. Let me get my arrow back, at least. Where'd the elk go? I thought he was just over here. He just stumbled over here like, oh, I don't know where which way to go. Like a deer in real life. They just have no idea. They don't know what to do. Taking kind of the side road to White Run here, aren't I? I just heard howling. Maybe it was a bird. <laughs> Could have been a bird at my window, who knows? Nah, Skyrim's not that realistic. Onward toward White Run. The old route the old run everybody always has to make. Oh I gotta go go to White Run next. I guess when we get there, I'll buy some, uh... Yeah, I just realized my whole plan for starting off Skyrim involves just some grinding. 
I didn't I didn't know about that archery thing. I didn't realize you could get it to level 50 for essentially free. And that's crazy that you can do that right at the beginning of the game. I had no idea. But it's nice. It gives us a great advantage to start off our archery career here. And there seems to be a giant attacking a bunch of cabbages. He's over in this farm. What's he? Oh, there's people here. He's fighting people. Okay. Let's get some XP. I'll shoot a giant in the face. I don't care. Am I actually doing good damage to him? Ah, a little bit. I could kill him if I took him enough time. Plague farm. It's a big giant. Take my arrows back. You handle yourself well. You could make for a decent shield, brother. Yeah, we'll get to that eventually. An Sorry, I'm just gonna leave. Bye, Ayla. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you right now. We can do we can do the companions with this character. I think Ayla the Huntress proves that you can be a, an archer in the companions. Totally works. And here we have White Run Stables. This guy will take you anywhere you want to go. He's easy that way. But uh, I just want to run inside and uh, go to the blacksmith and make a bunch of iron daggers. Get my smithing skill up as well as get rid of the ridiculous amount of iron ore I'm carrying. How heavy are we? Actually, you know what? We're only carrying 83 pounds. I don't need to go into Whiterun. I'm going to go straight to where I wanted to go. Which was, actually, how many arrows? How many arrows have I got? This could be a deciding factor. I have, oh, I have two arrows. Look at that. Just two. I'm going to need to go buy some arrows. Oh, well. I guess we do have to stop off in Whiterun. Oh, well, good opportunity to see the city if you haven't seen it before, which everyone has, but whatever. Hold. City's closed with the dragon's mouth. Official business only. Official business only. Um, I'm going to persuade you. Fine. Ha <laughs> ha, I persuaded you right by. See ya, punk. I lied. I don't know nothing about no dragons. I don't know nothing about no dragon babies. Ah, the loading screen. They really last a long time. At least, they, at least they give you useless information that you already know. Okay, whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. Hey guys, what are you guys talking about? Order that size on my own. Hey guys, why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask your hey, little gray maid for uh, help? Can I buy some arrows? <laughs> I'd sooner bet my arrows. No? No? Hey, I'm gonna send a butt in here. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. Can I uh, get some arrows, please? Thank you. What have you got? Iron. You steel? I like steel better. They're much nicer. We're gonna get iron though as well, because you need a lot of torpor. I don't need no torpor. Orcish stuff. Wow, we definitely level up really quickly. We've already got orcish good orcish goodies appearing in the loot. Hmm. Is there anything I can sell you? Oh no, I also want leather. Please. How many of those do I need? It's cheaper to buy it as leather, isn't it? Yeah. So how many do we have? How much iron? We've got 26 ingots. We'll do that when we get back. Don't forget to check Let's go right back out. I got plenty of arrows now. Alrighty then. Let's continue. So what I actually wanted to get to in this episode, which it looks like I'm not going to since it's already been half a freaking hour, uh, was, was to go to a mine up here and clear it out. So actually, I think I'm just going to do it. I'm going to go for it. I'm not going to stop until I accomplish my goal. That's what I'm going to do with these Skyrim videos, because stuff can take a while. So these are going to be long videos, but, you know, whatever. It's YouTube. They can be as long as they want to be now, so it's all good. Plus, I don't want this to take a million parts. There's, nobody wants that. I've looked at some uh, YouTubers who will not be named, uh, who've done Skyrim LPs, where every part is like nine minutes long, uh, which, and they're, you know, it's not because they were put up back before the... YouTube expanded the time limit or whatever because <laughs> the game came out after that. So, they're just being cheap, trying to get m more videos uh, out of the same content so that they can make more money on their ad revenues. I will never do that. I'm never going to cut my videos real short just so I can put up more videos and get more total views. That's total, totally scuzzy. Is that it over there? I think it might be it over there. Maybe. There must be a weird graphical bug. Just a weird bug. Yeah, that's not what I wanted. Oh no, this is what I wanted right here. I was going the right way. I was going right. I just I gotta trust in my instincts. So what's the name of this one? I can't remember it now. I'm sure it'll come to me. What was it called? 
Man, I can't remember. Oh, I know. Halted stream camp. That's it. So we got a couple people here. Somebody who's making a magic shield with her hand. I'm gonna back up. I had to take them on one at a time. Not being stealthy because they're not really very threatening, I don't think. So. Dang it. I gotta get that. I gotta get that mage out here. Frost magic. I hate frost magic. I'm getting killed. Man. I guess I didn't put. I haven't put any stats into. Uh, what am I looking at here for? I want healing potions. I didn't put any stats into he, into armor skills, so kind of in a bad position as far as that's concerned. Would you stand still? Good lord! You're annoying me. Why are you like? You're a funny color, Dunmer. You know that? Here, don't heal yourself. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. Right in the head. Ah! How can I miss in such a short range? I'm so bad with a the bow. There. Alright. Got one of them. Goodness gracious. You see if I bottle the potions? Huh. Alright. Now you. You're next. Look how he just slowly walks towards me and lets me shoot him. That's hilarious. I just... Man. I've got another archer. See if we can out out arch him. How did that miss? That was right behind. The arrows don't kip that much, do they? That's two. There we go. Archery increased to 51. That's fun. Potion of water breathing. That's a waste of inventory space for me, but I'll sell it. You know, oh, another Ow! You shot me. Shot me in the leg, you a-hole! Oh, right behind me. Look at that last one should have hit him. That was silly. Did he crouch and have it go over his head? It'd be pretty funny. Oh, man. There we go. Oh, cinematic. You shot me in the leg. shot him right in the arm. That shouldn't have been a kill shot. It should have been, ow. You know? Gold. Take the stuff that's worth anything, and the arrows, of course. Gotta get your arrows back. Where'd you go, buddy? Get the gold, get the arrows. That's enough for me. Alrighty, then. Welcome to Halted Stream Camp. The best mine in the game in terms of number of iron ingots you can get out of this place. So, I still have my pickaxe. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, head right inside. Now, I'll tell you, the boss guy in here will kick your ass if you're not prepared, uh, especially if you're coming here at level 1, which is very easy to do. I, of course, by some preposterous, friendly wood elf uh, exploit, I've now reached level 8, but, you know, whatever. No big deal. Alright, there's our first target. Just picking away at the ground. Oh, it's an outlaw. This would be fun. Lots of health. I should have hit that last shot before he detected me. Oh, and my rock trap didn't even work. Oh, you do a lot of damage, don't you? Try and stagger you so I can get a shot in. I'm about to get eaten. Rather, I'm about to get killed. Um, let's drink a couple of these, shall we? See, I can't beat them in DPS, so if they get really close to me, and it comes down to just who can kill the other one fastest, I'm generally not going to win that fight. So I really had to be able to get by on being far away, being stealthy, being able to get a lot of shots off before they're near me. So that, this boss, I already can tell, is not going to be easy because if the outlaw took that many shots, the boss in this area is going to be a real bitch. So I'm going to need to use my everything I can to my advantage. Apparently I already had the key to that because I just got off of her. Okay, so I'm going to get some magic out because... I want to be able to set off the fire trap up here. So basically, to be sneaky, what you have up here is you have this main dude, and then down here you have a bunch of oil on the ground that they'll happily run right through if you just light it up. He'll go right into that. Hopefully that'll do some good damage to him. And it's not like he's healing himself; he's a bandit. He doesn't really do that. Except for there was that one lady outside who was healing. But most of them don't know what the heck a healing potion even looks like. Okay, let's back up here. It's like we got an outlaw and a chief. And that's somebody with magic. Okay, that sucks. Just step outside. 
wonder if they don't, I don't think they'll follow me. I think they'll actually just forget I was here and go back to what they were doing. We'll see. Hmm. I think they're probably just standing right in there. Just waiting. I still have full health. Let's go back in. What's the worst that could happen? I open the door and they're all standing there in mid-swing. What are the odds of that, right? Surely that isn't exactly what's going to happen. Yeah, here you go. Oh, the chief did not take much damage from that fire. Oh no. He's about to kill me. I'm gonna die. Did your buddies already go back to being outlaws? Oh! Oh boy. I gotta get creative again. I gotta set off this other trap. There's something. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, no, I'm outside. I'm not dead. I'm outside. I'm about to die, though. Come on, open the inventory. Open the inventory. Use a potion. Use a potion. It's a potion. 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 Yes. Potion time. All right. Of course, now I'm in a pit of spikes. Of course, I don't think they'll follow me out here either, so I could probably just take a nap. Yeah. <laughs> I should have just taken a nap. There's a high elf and a fell in the hole out here and got killed along with some elk. Ugh. Gross. All right, let's come back in the back, shall we? Maybe now we can actually use our stealth. How about that? There's an idea. Yes, he already forgot I was here. Good. Gonna let him get far away before I shoot. Miss me. Did that fire trap just go off back there? I wonder if they went through it. <laughs> you guys are closer than I thought you were. Okay. Woo. I'm just really... This is, see, I'm getting by on the fact that I'm faster. I have lower encumbrance, more fatigue. I'm letting that chief get in the other one's way, too, which is nice. Outlaw's almost done. There he goes, good. Excuse me, I'm just gonna go right past you again. So this is how you survive when you're, are, when you're the faster character. Oops. And with a lower health, because that chief would probably kill me in two hits. He's not a friendly dude, as far as I'm concerned. So I gotta be quick to get in and out of the way when he's around. Oh! It's the advantage of being lightly armored. Is he not taking any damage at all? Look at that. Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, shit! Why is it all dark and blurry? Is that what it's like when you die? What the hell just happened? <laughs> Everything went dark. <laughs> I guess he hit me in the face. I don't know. He must have hit me in the head. Uh, this is getting a bit exploitative. What I should just do is just put some points into my freaking archery skill so that I'm better at it. Like, I have these level ups, but I've got no perks put in. Why? You're still in mid swing? See, that's the kind of silliness that I don't like. I came back to the door and they're still in mid swing. Really? Oh, that totally hit him. Did I go through his skirt and miss his legs? Okay, I just shot him twice and he didn't get hit either time. What the fuck? That third one I missed, but the first two went right through him. Did you see that? Did that look like it did that look to you look to you like it did to me? Does it look to me like I went right through him? Hmm. Oh, perfect. That's just the save I wanted you to load. Thank you. See him getting hit not taking any health damage? Oh, he must be using his Berserker Rage. I still don't have any potions. I don't know why I'm looking at my inventory. <laughs> what did you think was going to happen? Who leaves trash laying around? Was, was, he, was he saying he was going to clean up my body? That would be really nice of him. There! Finally, his Berserker wore off. His chief is... No, you can't! Oh, really? You can... Cinematic kill me with like barely any of my health gone, even with my histkin act. That was nuts. That's preposterous. That's frustrating when they just walk up to you and like, oh, cinematic, you're dead. Like seriously, I had almost all of my health. That's a bit silly. Oh boy, oh boy. Bandit chief. This guy's always a pain though, because he's always at a higher level than you, pretty much. You just come in here and you're like, all right, it's gonna take a lot of arrows. In the butt. Finally. 
get a hundred gold out of it and some arrows back. Oi, what a pain. I apologize, that was a mess. But now we get to loot what is the best mine in the game. So the first thing you want to look at is over here a spell tome. Transmute mineral ore. Ding. And the what you get from that, look at these arrows stuck in his desk. How did I how could I possibly have shot an arrow at that angle from over there? This one here? What what where is this arrow coming from? Up up there? Doesn't make any sense. Anyway, so that transmute mineral ore thing actually will uh turn any iron you have into silver, iron ore, into silver ore, and it'll turn silver ore into gold ore. So, it's good stuff. I think leather boots are actually better than my current boots. That's another thing, is that we have crap armor, because we hasn't been updated since the... since we picked up the crap in the tutorial. <laughs> so I'm not wearing... I'm wearing junk, and I'm at level 8, basically, so... That partially explains my total lack of being able to kill anything. But just imagine that at master difficulty. You just you really have to have like all the right gear and everything. This is Corundum. I'm probably just gonna sell this. But now I'm gonna go around and pick up all the iron in here. So let's uh let's do that quickly, shall we? Getting some iron. Going around this mine, getting all the iron. Gonna use my pickaxe. Gonna use my pickaxe. I'm gonna have so much iron, make a lot of gold rings, sell them all and get my smithing skill up. I can't reach the ground! What is this? I swing downwards and I do not hit the ground. I cannot reach. Gonna get that iron, turn it all into gold. I'm like a fucking alchemist or some shit, I don't even know. Chopping on the iron ore veins, get some iron ore. Alrighty, then that's all. That's a lot of iron, too. I think I got quite a bit out of that. Had an empty inventory before. Yeah, we've now got 60 iron ore from the two of those mines, so that's quite a good start towards getting our smithing skill somewhere reasonable. But this has been a preposterously long episode. I, don't, I hope they don't all end up this long, but we'll see how long it takes to get done this one goal that I wanted to do. I got kind of distracted with Fandal. That's why this episode was so long. Anyway, in the next episode, we're going to go to Whiterun and get some smithing done, and then we're going to distribute some skill points so we don't totally suck at everything. Thanks for watching. See you guys then. I think I overbuilt this house. I forgot to put a couple walls on. And the part of the roof, too. Like, most... That's a shitty roof, man. Why even put it on if it's going to be that full of holes? It doesn't do anything. You don't take the sun out, don't get the rain out. There's no point. It's like I'm gonna catch a leaf. A leaf won't go right through those cracks, man. A leaf don't give a shit. Honey badger don't care. There's a rabbit. <laughs> the rabbit just hanging here. Oh, it's all oh, it's all rubbery. Oh, oh, that's that texture is like 1995 level. That's really bad. It's not a look at that. That's preposterous. It looks like a stuffed rabbit. Yeesh.